Say hello, everybody. This is about Tally here at Firestorm Records uh, again. And, uh, like if you're familiar, we're going to continue the uh, the review of, of the Behringer EP2000 amplifier, and uh, it's been a great amp. Uh, I, I have not had any any problems out of it. Uh, work fine. It's uh, actually, I, I believe it's underrated. I, I don't have a way to bench test it to verify that, but I do actually think that it's underrated, which is a good thing. Uh, but we're going to cover uh, the, the ongoing discussion that we've been having in other videos concerning the uh, uh, airflow and the, and the, and the, the air filter. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos, what that's all about is uh, as it comes from the factory, it draws air in the back and blows it out the front and the air filter is in the front effectively filtering the exhaust air but not filtering the intake and uh, that's a major flaw considering where I live uh, I live out here in uh, West Texas out in the desert where it's hot it's windy it's dirty it's dusty it's sandy I don't care how nice your home is, uh, they get everything gets dirty and dusty and you have to clean quite regularly. And that's not a good thing for uh, electronics, especially amplifiers, uh, because the way this was designed, and you'll see it further along in the video, it's got a massive heat sink that goes from front to back, and uh, it blows the air through that to cool off your uh, Final transistors and your voltage transistors and all that, and out here, uh, uh, as big as that heat sink is, it wouldn't take it too long to get clogged up with dirt and uh, dust and all that. Uh, so what I did, as soon as I realized what it was doing, is I opened it up, I, I pulled the four screws to hold the fan in, picked the fan up, turned it around, put it back bolted it back together. I reversed the airflow. So now it draws air from the front and blows it out the back. It draws the air through the filter and blows it out the back. And uh, trust me, Behringer was not happy about that when they let me know real quick that they weren't going to, uh, that that would void the warranty. Well, uh, I, at this point I'm not worried about the warranty. I've, I've had it uh, long enough that the warranty is almost out anyway and it works fine. But I do have to clean it uh, once a month because my equipment runs anywhere from 30 to 60 hours a week, every week, including that amp. And, and, and that's a fact. If you've seen my other videos, uh, you know that I do back-to-back -back shows every week. Uh, I work here in the studio recording. I actually have been using that amp in the studio, and it works quite nicely, by the way. I thought that the fan noise would be an issue, but it, it hasn't been. Uh, I also have several bands that come out here and uh, they rehearse right here and we use that amp for rehearsals uh, three times a week usually two to four hours a night so uh, as you can see it, it gets quite the work out here at Firestorm Records anyway I'm going to uh, show you what it looks like when uh, you pull it apart now uh, if you're not familiar with the uh, high voltage capacitors and all that then I would recommend that you take it to uh, a skilled uh, service technician and have, have them clean it. These are not maintenance preamps as they come from the factory. Uh, if, you're, if you've bought one and uh, it's, it's shutting down and then coming back on, it's usually uh, therm thermal related or heat buildup and it's probably full of dirt and dust clogged up. Get somebody to look at it. Anyway, here's the video. Hope you enjoy. Okay, uh, I've uh, got the amp out of the rack and here on the table I've pulled all the screws out of it and we're fixed to pull the top off of it here. And I'm going to uh, show you again why I pulled that fan out and turned it around. As you can see it's quite dirty. I fixed to pull the top off here to show it's on the top because you can't wipe it off while it's in the rack. Uh, I clean this uh, quite regularly 
but as you can see quite dirty but as you can look inside the amp the amp itself is uh, nice and clean it's just a slight deal of dust I'm going to reach in the front now very carefully and get this filter out. We'll try to. They've actually got it tacked glued in there. I've knocked a bunch of the dirt off into the amp I'm gonna have to get some compressed air and blow it out but uh, could you imagine what the inside of the amp would look like if you left it like it came from the factory out here let me show you the uh, dirt that I knocked off here that got knocked off the filter as I was taking it out But uh, like I said, the inside of the amp is nice and clean. I came around to the back. I pulled these these four screws out to hold the fan in, and I just took the fan and uh, it looks like when it's cleaned up. This is what the filter looks like when it's clean, y'all. See the difference? That's why I turned the fan around. Oh. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to try to show it to you. If uh, you've already been into your amp, then you know what I'm talking about. It's got a, uh, see this right here? It's a massive heat sink that's finned with the fins facing in. Let me turn this light on. And maybe you can see it. See them fins? If you, if you leave it the way it is from the factory out here those are going to fill up with dirt and dust and, and eventually clog up and then this won't cool off anymore and your tire uh, transistors on the the heat sink here some of them are voltage the two little ones are voltage uh, and then you've got uh, your the big ones there on both sides as you can see and uh, just in case you're wondering, this thing is far from uh, airtight. Uh, quite uh, shoddy on the fit and finish, I'm, I'm, I'm sad to say. A quarter inch gap on both sides there on the back. Uh, but anyway, it does help to keep it clean. Anyway, now you know why I, re I reversed the fan have it draw the air through the filter and blow it out the back and uh, I noticed as I was reviewing uh, that part of the video that uh, the big transistors those are your output panels uh, and somehow or other I, I missed that but uh, anyway uh, if you keep it clean where it gets good airflow it should work for a long time and, and, and believe me it, it has to have a good airflow uh, if you noticed in the, vi in the video where I was showing you the, the end of the heat sinks where it was black, uh, that's because it gets extremely hot and it turns the aluminum black. That's what causes that. Anyway, I hope that was uh, informative and, and of some help to y'all. This is Vitaly here at Firestorm Records, and y'all have a nice day.